What is the main importance of cow? Why Krishna gives much attention to cows? And uh, Shri Prabhupada says that we can ten sixteen runs and follow four regular principles and go back to home. So you told that without cows, no spiritual life. So cows, if you if you explain it and. Uh, if uh, cities are for preachers yes. and villages are for cow protection, but uh, people in uh, cities, uh, villages will protect cows and eat nice um, milk products, which is very beneficial for spiritual life. But what about those devotees who are uh, in the cities who are preaching? So they cannot protect spiritual life. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's try to sort that out. <laughs> if one is somehow or other not able to associate with cows, if one chants 16 rounds and follows the rules and regulations wherever he may be, he can go back home back to Godhead. <clears throat> However, uh, in, a, in a larger picture and looking long term also, there's a particular lifestyle. The Vedic culture is teaching us a particular lifestyle where cows are most important. I briefly mentioned how cows, I'll give you an example because that's part of the question, why are cows so important? Do you know that nobody would be sitting here today worshipping Sri Sri Radha Gopina if it was not due to cows? Do you know that to install deities, one, the brahmanas need to <coughs> bathe the deities with panchagavya, with milk, yogurt, ghee, cow urine, and cow dung, panchagavya. No bathing the deities with cow products, no installation of the deities, no worship of Radha Gopina. Nobody here. <laughs> This is one of many examples. <laughs> no brahminical culture. No cows, no brahminical culture. You would not be chanting the holy name. Nobody here would be initiated. Because brahmanas cannot throw grains in the fire jagya with ghee. No cows, no ghee. No jagya. No diksha, sorry. 